Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we're looking at the uh, photoelectric effect, a topical examination question. This particular question came in the department uh, 2000, March 2009 paper. And if you look at the sum, to begin with, it says the work function of a particular metal is shown in the table below. Give a reason why the different metals have different work functions. So if you look here, we'll see that we see that aluminium's work function is 6.54 times 10 to the minus 19, zinc is 6.89, silver is 7.58. So why do they have different uh, work functions? The reason is basically that to begin with we can say that each metal has its own ionization energy. Each metal has different ionization energy or the force of attraction between the protons and electrons of each metal is different between the electron and proton of each metal is different. So Silver has a higher uh, work function. That means that the electrons are strong, more strongly bonded to the protons than, for example, in aluminium. So more energy will be required to take out the electron or remove the electron or pull it away from the proton. So that will be the reason. 15.2. Light of wavelength 2,3 times 10 to the minus 7 meters is shown onto a metal X. The average speed of the emitted electron is 4,78 times 10 to the 5. Identify metal X by performing a relevant function. So looking at this, we can see that what we can do is we have to calculate the work function and see what is the work function and compare it to the table and come to a conclusion. All right, so looking at what we have here, we see that the wavelength is given and the average speed is given, so we'll have to work out the work function. So if you look at our equation, we'll have to take our equation from the periodic table, and the periodic table, don't, don't hesitate to go look at the proper way in which it is written, or else you will lose marks unnecessarily. So go to the data sheet and find what is the, the proper way in which they want us to write the equation so that you don't lose unnecessary marks in the final exam. So here is it, HF is equals to W0 plus half MV squared. So this is the way it's written in this data sheet. So we write it down, HF is equals to W0 plus a half MV squared. So H we know is Planck's constant, 6,63 times 10 to the minus 34. And in this case, we see that we are not given the F we given the wavelength, which is, uh, we'll have to make it HC over lambda, E is equals to HC over lambda. So we're going to put this as C over lambda, and the C is the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8. And your lambda is given as 2,37, comma 3, sorry, times 10 to the minus 7. So we can use that to calculate the energy of our our photon or the, the light that's uh, given and then w0 is what we want to find the wavelength plus half is a half the mass of an electron is again given in the data sheet this is 3 comma 1 1 times 10 to the minus 31 and the velocity uh, the average speed is given as 4 comma 78. 4,78 uh, times 10 to the uh, 5. And then now doing our calculations, we can work out our W. And we get an answer of 7,58 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And what we'll have to do, we'll say this is the work function of this particular metal and compare it to what's given here, 7,58 times 10 to the minus 19, and we say, aha, 
it's silver. And we must identify the metal because you get one mark for that. So metal X will be silver. And then 15.3 to conclude the question. What conclusion about the nature of light is drawn from the photoelectric effect? The conclusion is that light has a particle nature. Light has a dual nature, it has a particle nature as defined by the photoelectric effect and it has a wave nature as defined by diffraction, which is another section of the matrix syllabus. So this is uh, an approach to a typical matrix sum and make sure that you learn your calculation, but don't forget that this question also has theory. Give a reason why the different metals have different work constants, what conclusion can be drawn. So out of the eight marks, there's two marks related to theory, so don't forget to learn your theory. Thanks for your time.